everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm doing a review of this shotgun microphone for cameras. As you know, if you're into making good videos, what's most important, even over the quality of the video, is the quality of the audio. That's why it's so important you have a good microphone whenever you're making videos. So if you're a YouTuber that's trying to make good content or if you're trying to capture a performance in some way or whatever the case is, if you wanna get uh, your videos to be the best they can, you gotta have good audio with it. A shotgun mic like this that mounts on the top of your camera is really great to have. So a couple weeks ago, I was sent this microphone from Comica to do a review of, and they did a review, and then they said, hey, would you be willing to do a review for a shotgun mic on your camera? I said, absolutely. The cool thing about this guy was it actually saved the day, uh, the day that I got it. I was doing a shoot for my niece, uh, a three camera shot where she was in a play, and I was in this gymnasium, and my uh, Tascam recorder that I normally use did not have an SD card, and the only way I could get decent audio was to hook up this mic that I just happened to have in my bag that they sent me that day uh, on top of one of my cameras, and it actually got decent audio. Even though I was behind the audience, uh, it would have been a million times worse if I was just using the onboard mic. So uh, I gotta, gotta say thank you to Comica for <laughs> sending this to me because you, you saved the day. But uh, when you're using the onboard mic on a camera, whether it's a uh, professional camera, like a, you know, a higher end Canon, or uh, maybe you're just using like a DSLR, uh, even your iPhone, it's important that you have good audio going into it. So let me just kind of compare a couple different audio sources with these. You can see it. Uh, right now, I'm recording onto the Tascam using this lavalier microphone. But I'm also using the onboard mic that is on my Lumix uh, GH2 Panasonic. And uh, I want to compare that with this. So I'm going to talk a little bit with uh, the, the Lumix so you can kind of hear what that sounds like. What Just in this distance, I'm about five feet from the camera. Hear what that sounds like. Then I also want to record with my iPhone to see what kind of audio that's picking up. And then we'll compare those two audio sources with the Comica plugged into my Tascam recorder, also five feet away. So let's listen to that. All right, so right now I'm talking to the Lumix camera right now. This is what the onboard mic sounds like. Uh, there's a little bit of echo in this room. Uh, I'm about five feet away from the camera right now. So we'll see what this sounds like. Now I'm gonna compare that with the iPhone right now. Uh, this is the audio coming from the iPhone, also about five feet away in the same exact spot. And then finally, we're gonna compare it with the Comica shotgun mic sitting on top of my Tascam, also about five feet away. I don't know about you, I can't hear the audio right now, but I know that it is significantly better than both the onboard mic. Again, one, one more time here. Here's the, the, uh, the Lumix GH2, Panasonic GH2. Here's the iPhone, the audio coming from the iPhone. And then here is the audio coming from the Comica. What do you think? All right, so that was the audio coming from the Comica. And I would record, record this whole video with the audio coming from the shotgun mic, but uh, I want to be able to hold it so you can actually see what's happening too. A couple of the features that it has on here, just so you can get an idea of it. As it, it, it sits onto a hot shoe mount, so you can put this on most cameras that have a, a shoe mount. This just slides in there and then this twists to lock it in. And then also, it's really nice, it has a hole in the bottom here with a thread. So if you're putting this on a tripod or something like that, you can just hook this onto a tripod, the same uh, camera mount thread that most camera mounts, most tripods come from, that have the bottom, you know what I'm talking about, that silver thing on the bottom of your camera. This can fit on it, which for me works out great because my Tascam actually has this on, on top of it. And so I can just, spin this guy on there and uh, I, I'm able to lock this down where it's not moving. It has a just a regular um, kind of headphone jack here in the back so it's the, the I think it's 3.5 millimeter so almost everything it's going to plug into. You may have to get an adapter if you're plugging it directly into an iPhone because they they have the way that, that it's uh, 
arranged is not just stereo, it also has the mic option on that. So you need to uh, possibly convert this if you're plugging in this into an iPhone. Uh, if you're plugging it into most cameras that have a jack, you're gonna be in great shape. I have a GH2 um, and it has the 2.5 millimeter jack. So I actually have to have a converter for that, but uh, that's more of a problem with the camera than it is a problem with this. The, uh, the jack here is great. On the back here, it's got a couple different options, just a regular on off, as well as a plus 10 dB boost. So um, if you're right now, my audio is only about five feet away, but if I was uh, any further than that, I probably would put the boost on it uh, just so that it, it kind of reaches out and grabs the audio a little bit better. And then also it has a low end roll off. So you can kind of cut out some of the the boominess of it. So if you're in a situation where there's just too much low end happening, you can roll off the bottoms and, uh, and you're good to go with that. I came with a couple AAA batteries that install here on the top and I was happy that it, it came with those batteries because that day that it saved the day, I did not have batteries. So I was glad it actually came with it in the package. And then it's got this kind of interesting shock mount. So it, it's this V-shaped uh, rubberized plastic and actually does a pretty good job. There's nothing really to rattle around. Sometimes the shock mounts, you know, the stuff isn't fit strong, like real tight together and you can kind of get some rattling. This is, a, this is actually, I think a pretty good shock mount. The cable is coiled up, which is nice because if you're putting this right on top of a camera, you don't have to be in the situation where you're trying to figure out what to do with an extra, you know, three feet of cable. Uh, but it's, you know, if you need it to stretch a little bit, it can too. So that's actually very nice. Um, and then finally, it did come with this dead cat. So if you're outside and you're, you're getting a lot of wind noise, you can put this on here. I haven't tested this out yet, uh, but uh, it is what it is. It's a dead cat. Uh, you know, you'd be looking at probably spending $20 if you were just to buy this on Amazon or eBay. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this microphone it looks really nice it uh, also comes in a, in a black version instead of having this red it's a, a black one but i thought the red looked pretty cool so that's the one i got so anyway hopefully this review of this comica cvm v30 was helpful to you if you're looking for a microphone to put on top of your camera to get decent audio this is actually a pretty good mic um, i don't think that you're going to be uh, going wrong with this uh, up from this, you're going to probably buy a road or something like that. And honestly, I think that you're going to get just as good audio from this as, uh, as spending twice as much money on a, uh, a bigger name brand, uh, per se. Anyway, um, Kenneth Russell out. If this review is helpful to you, please hit the thumbs up. If it wasn't, feel free to hit a thumbs down. And I make videos that help make musicians better. And I guess today I'm helping make videographers better or, or maybe musicians trying to capture better audio. So anyway, hopefully it was helpful to you and I will see you in another video.